I hate Zillow. So if you're moving to Charleston and you're using Zillow, don't use it because it's not correct. Stay tuned, I'm gonna tell you why. What do you think Zillow really is? Do you think Zillow is just a marketing tool or an app that helps you search for homes and it's so user friendly and they give you all this information about a property that you may be interested in? Well, let me tell you the truth about Zillow. Zillow is actually a data collecting company. It collects data and it uses it. It uses it for their advantage, of course. So when you're on Zillow and you're searching for properties and you like a property, Zillow is actually collecting your name, your phone number, and your email address. And let me tell you what they do with it. They turn around and sell that information, your information, back to me, back to realtors and mortgage lenders. They sell your information. So that's why you have all these calls coming in when you're interested in a property that you saw on Zillow because Zillow has sold us your information. That's right. So don't be mad at us so much. You put your information in, Zillow turns around and sells it back to us. So they are making a very, very good profit because it's expensive, very expensive. So here are five reasons why I hate Zillow. The obvious, number five, because they sell your information to us. Yes, they sell it back to us for a huge amount monthly. Huge. You just don't believe. We buy zip codes and whatever zip code we purchase, depending on the medium price point for that zip code and how many people are buying that zip code, the amount goes up. Cha-ching, cha-ching. And it's every month. That's right, every month. Zillow allowed us to purchase your information that you put in their site. So you still think they're your friend? Well, let me tell you about number four, why I hate Zillow. There's no such thing as a pre-foreclosure. I get calls all the time about pre-foreclosure. I saw this pre-foreclosure. Pre-foreclosure? Uh, where'd you see that? On Zillow? Okay, maybe Zillow has some way of finding out when a homeowner has not paid their mortgage in a few months. And so could possibly go into a foreclosure status. But let me tell you about that. You can save your house in a foreclosure status. You could actually pay it or you could actually decide to sell it, short sale it. There's ways of getting out of a foreclosure status. So when Zillow shows you pre-foreclosure, you can't purchase that house. You can't do anything with that property except for watch it and maybe see if it's actually foreclosed on and the bank takes it back and you could possibly buy it later on, but not according to Zillow pre-foreclosure. You cannot purchase it. So I wanted to make that clear. The pre-foreclosure in Zillow, don't call an agent about that because you can't get it. Number three, I have no control over what Zillow puts on their site. When I say I, meaning as a realtor, I use a multiple listing service, it's called the MLS. And what I put in the MLS for a listing that I have, Zillow pulls from that, but they also pull from other sources to get their information. And sometimes the information is incorrect, but Zillow still puts it up there. I have no control over what they put in their system. So I always tell my clients, don't use Zillow. I know it's easy, it's simple. They made it user friendly, but use the MLS where I have accurate information in the system because I have no control over what Zillow pulls and put on their site. No one does, only Zillow. Next up, I cannot stress to you how inaccurate Zillow can be. They will have a listing that is under contract or pending, still active. And a lot of times consumers, sellers, buyers will call about a property that is no longer available or it's under contract. 
you can't do anything about it. But it shows on Zillow that it's available or it's still active or it's under contract when it's not or it's for sale when it's not. So many inaccurate information on Zillow. It's frustrating, especially when you get calls from consumers referencing Zillow as their source. It's a no-no. And now, Zillow never gets my sales and my reviews right, never. I'm not the only realtor that complains about this. Go into Zillow, it'll show that within the 12 months, you could have one, two sales, when really you have a whole lot more. Or clients have told me, I left you a great review on Zillow, it, that, it never showed up, where is it? I have no idea. So if you are going by what Zillow says about another realtor, do not. Or if you're going by the fact that, oh, Zillow says this realtor sold this amount, so maybe they're really good. Or Zillow says this realtor sold this amount, and maybe they're not so good. That could be very inaccurate information. I'm just saying, don't use it at all. And I know there are gonna be people that use Zillow regardless, they love it. That's the first app they go to when they're looking for a home. I would just say, if you're gonna use it, don't let it be your end all be all because you will be incorrect right along with Zillow. That's right, you'll be incorrect. <laughs> now, I think that Zillow could be used for something. I personally don't use it and I really don't know any realtor that uses it except for when a consumer calls us referencing a house that they saw on Zillow that we can't find in our MLS. So I really think if you are working with a real estate agent, you should find out where they would like for you to search because that's where the accurate information will be so that you are well equipped with all the information that is correct for you to make that decision. Now, before I get to number one, I just wanna say, send me a comment. Let me know how Zillow has been inaccurate in your real estate transaction. Let me know if there's anything that you feel I left off which I'm sure there is many others that I've left off on my list. Send me a comment, let me know. I reply to all of my messages. Number one reason why I hate Zillow, those damn Zestimates. I hate those Zestimates. They are so wrong, 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 so wrong. They are never right. And I'm sorry, if you think that you can go and buy a house off of a Zestimate, that seller may laugh you right out of their house. The Zestimates are not accurate. I do not know how they are getting this information. I do know somewhat. I mean, they have this algorithm that pulls from different sort resources, but Zillow hasn't been in your house. They don't know how much you've improved on the house, what features you have, additions, things like that, they don't know. So they're just basing it off of a base value for your neighborhood a lot of times. And that doesn't necessarily mean that reflects your house. So the Zestimates, don't go buy them because they are not correct. We as realtors don't use them when we are doing CMAs, compared market analysis. When we are researching to figure out what a house is worth, we don't use Zillow at all. So don't reference Zillow because it won't work, okay? I'm Carmela Renee, and I am a licensed South Carolina real estate agent, born and raised right here. And I love bringing you helpful tips and facts about my home state, Charleston, South Carolina. So if you have any questions about this video, please send me a message, give me a call. I'd love to help you with your real estate needs here, whether you're buying, selling, or renting, or investing in Charleston, South Carolina real estate. Well, until next time, don't forget, subscribe to my channel because I put up videos like this once a week. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because you will be notified when I drop a video and make sure you comment. I'd love to hear from you. Well, until next time, thank you for watching.